So Drew, what is a topic study? So in the Bible, there are tons of topics, right? There's topics on salvation, the Holy Spirit, uh, finances, diligence. There are tons of topics, right? You can get overwhelmed trying to do all of them at once. So with a basic topic study, how I usually do mine, you can do yours a little different, is I would go for about a month. And then I will go to a new topic just so I don't get bored and just so I don't, um, I don't want to say overdo it, but just so I can apply what I, um, what I've learned. Um, I use the, the analogy, the lap analogy or the lap abbreviation. I'm sorry. L meaning learn a meaning apply P means practice. So a topic that's familiar to most people, um, is sin. Uh, most people feel automatically that they are never accepted by God because of past sins that they've committed and they feel God doesn't love them as equal as someone who may not have committed as much sins. Um, that's false. If you ask God for forgiveness of your sins, your sins are wiped away and he does not remember those sins anymore, meaning he doesn't judge you or hold those sins against you. Um, another topic that's really, really um, big now is the topic of salvation, the topic of um, like cult, uh, cults or the topic of trends and stuff like that. So I would suggest picking a topic that sticks out to you or a topic that you are going through or want to learn about. I'm a businessman, so some of my topics are based on integrity, um, based on also diligence, or I am also a newlywed, so a lot of my topics are based on uh, marriage relationships. Your topics can be based on anything, but give it a month, take your time with it, dig it apart, see how it goes, all right? Take care, guys.